I'm back with another video and today I thought I would share with you two tips on diamond paintings and both of them were received in the comments by viewers and I really do appreciate them because they are something fantastic. The first one I'm going to share with you is as to when you have the little bit of extra glue that shows up you know in these small areas there might be this little extra glue that you know causes it to be sticky and sometimes it happens on the outside around and it depends if you how you want to cover it you know with um, your frame and whatnot as to what you really want to do with it whether it affects you and if you didn't want to actually frame it and do something else with it um, leave it a little bit more exposed you don't want to and especially if you don't put a glass over it you don't want dust and um, like cat hairs or animal fur or whatever it could be floating around your house to get in there and basically the tip is is using some baby powder now you can use any powder you want to um, you can even use um, cornstarch if you want to um, this here is just baby powder and I put it into the lid of a makeup jar so I use everything yes I do if it's handy you know and then using a cotton swab you just basically rub it right onto where it was sticky and then you know you can take a little bit of the excess off and no longer sticky so that works really well and it's a fantastic tip you know and um, see this one had just a little bit of excess glue in certain spots so now I would say that you probably would not have to redo this um, again unless you live in probably a more humid climate where you know it could possibly work in that way where you know it would somehow um, come off and leave it tacky again that would be my only thought but probably not okay so as you can see it works really fast really quick and it's wonderful so that's the first tip now the second tip is using nail polish remover to remove this colorful printing all up here around the sides and um, I don't know if you can see down here I've actually been using it to see if it works and it does so I just have this um, nail polish remover that's a non acetone I'm not sure if the acetone would work better quicker perhaps it would and let me put this way over here so I do not spill it I'm using the cap right now and using another cotton swab clean one and um, using a little bit of heavy pressure right on it to remove it I don't know if you can see that it's taking it away is a little bit wet so you have to wait until it dries but when it dries it's white you know as you can see this here I worked on this before not um, you know um, heavily worked on it but just to try it and um, the only thing I can tell you is it does take off this top layer of sheen that's on there you can see that but that's up to you whether you care that that's like that. And you can always add a little bit of, um, you know, either spray or um, 
the Mod Podge, you know, high gloss and get your shine back if that's a concern to you. But it does work and um, it takes some time. I'm not sure if it would work better on others or if it, um, you definitely need it to be the acetone type. I'm not positive. Um, and as I said, these two tips were in my viewer comments and it does work. It just, um, you know, maybe I don't have the right technique for it. If anybody else out there has um, done this technique, let me know what you do to take this off if, uh, you know, I'm using the right kind of nail polish remover. Okay, so that's it for, for this particular video. We'll catch you in the next one.